Rose Park. Where have you been all my life? Some of the best Rose Park I've ever eaten in my life. I'll attest to that. Trang uh -huh. is breakfast heaven. <laughs> Morning from Trang, Thailand. Currently, where we're at right now, it's 7.30 in the morning, maybe a little bit earlier. This is the time of day in Trang. Trang, everything revolves around breakfast in this town, and we love it. We're all here for it. We're not usually up this early, but for breakfast and for this activity, we will be. Apparently, this town loves to eat in the morning. Yep. The earlier, the better. And there's a reason for that because Trong actually has a lot of rubber workers historically. A lot of people work in rubber and they get up very early in the morning, two in the morning, to go to the rubber trees. So, to get all that energy to do that manual work, to do all that hard work, you need food, you need fuel. how lively and energetic this market is. I mean, it's so early in the morning and here we are having our roast pork. I mean, about to have our roast pork, but it's just everything around here, the fields, the people, it's like, wow. scenery here and the liveliness of this place is just the extra because what we came here this is delicious roast pork that greg is holding all right so away from the hustle and chaos of the market we're on the side of the street here and we got a little out of control here we uh we actually bought a half kilo of this roast pork It's all good because this is our breakfast. It looks absolutely beautiful. It smells incredible. It smells sweet. I smell five spice. It smells a little smoky. And it just looks beautiful. There's crispy skin, but there's also more tender bits. Gotta try this. Mmm. Whoa. I'm eating a lot of roast pork, especially here in Asia, but this is unlike any roast pork I've ever eaten in my life. It's almost like a combo texturally of suyok, the roast pork, like the, the crunchy skin, with the char siu, more of the sweeter roast pork. And it has that combo of sweet, savory, not very salty like some suyok can be. A little more on the sweet side, but it has a savory bit. It's a combine of that tender, crunchy, there's five spice, there's garlic, there's just so much going on in here. It's unbelievable. Mm. I can see why this is such a special dish in Trang. Mm. Strong roast pork, where have you been all my life? You really get that smoky flavor the more you eat it, wow. That is really a whole nother level of roast pork. <laughs> you gotta love, you're in that market, she's just hacking it up right there with the cleaver. It just, it looks very different when you see it too. We 
are now at a coffee shop. That apparently, this coffee shop is an old school kind of kopitiam, but they just redid the place. This spot's called Yu Chung Coffee Shop. Uh, from the outside, I didn't wasn't sure if this is still the spot from photos I saw online. It looked a little more old school inside, but it, you can tell if this still is. It's on the corner, and then you can see the back. It kind of looks more old school. The, they're making the coffee. Is that really old school coffee? I love how they serve it in this. Just the glass. It's hot coffee in a glass. I got the black coffee as I usually do. Ooh, strong. Spicy. Very. Mm. Uh, Another staple in Trunk for breakfast is rice and curry. You know, we've eaten a lot of rice and curry in South Thailand already, and this one looks amazing. Both are pork dishes. You have this pork rib and this really dark curry. I was warned it was quite spicy, got it anyway. And also got this pork with sator bean, AKA stink bean. I'm gonna try that first, I love stink bean. See, there's uh, lime leaf here too. It looks delicious. Is that rice? Mmm. That is intense. It does pack a punch, but not too spicy. It's got a right level of spice. You can really taste that galango in there. But that sator bean is just wonderful. It's uh, not too tender a piece of pork, but it's kind of got a little bit of chew to it, but I like it. Now this rib is calling my name. This looks amazing. Right on the bone. Wow, the meat actually pulls right apart, right off the bone. That rib is something else. Super tender. It's got a kick, but not too spicy. I think my spice level, is, my spice tolerance is going up and up here. Mm. That is just spectacular. Wow. Even a piece of looks like ginger here too. Very peppery, delicious. Highly recommend getting this one. It is next level. And we also have these nice veggies inside, raw veggies to balance out the whole meal. Like baby eggplants. Like eggplants, yeah, long beans. And then this. Got a little bit of a fishy taste to it, chili. Nobody has a kick. I actually wait to say this is spicier than any of these dishes. But man, it tastes nice to have some raw veggies to go with the salt. Delicious breakfast. Aside from giving us the vegetables, right, like this for free, extra. Sometimes they also give us free um, fruit for dessert. This one's watermelon. I noticed that people here in Trang are very friendly. Like the hospitality you've got here so far is amazing. Good morning. Bright and early again. We are about to do another morning hit breakfast here in Trang. Trang and is breakfast heaven. Place. Yeah, I like how it's open air too. It's open air, quite big. It. And I love these wooden tables. They're kind of lower to the ground and these lower chairs. Very cool. Like dim sum is serious business here in Trang. So there's about 70 places to eat dim sum in Trang. This one right here, Ruan, is called. 
not saying, not sure I'm pronouncing it right, but run is uh, very popular here. Many people say it's the best in Trang. We've eaten dim sum in Hong Kong, in Malaysia, in the US, so we're really excited to try it in Thailand, especially a place like Trang, which is very serious with their dim sum. So it's it's not that old school of a feel. So it doesn't it's not like one of those really old in time, like ones you've been to in Hong Kong, but I do like the style that you come right in the front, you pick out out of the steamers which ones you want. They make them all in-house here, and then they steam it for you fresh. So it's gonna arrive for a table nice and hot. I'm really excited. Time to eat. So these look a lot like we ate in Malaysia called lobak. It looks like a minced meat fried roll. Let's see what it's all about. Not mm. It's good. It's almost like a fried, almost like a fried dumpling, I would say, with minced meat inside. We've got 13 <laughs> steamers of dim sum here. We also got this patong ko. It's a fried dough stick with pandan dip. Mm. Oh, got these chive dumplings. I believe it's a chive. Ooh, I smell the chive already. Very garlicky. Oh, it's coming up. Let's see. These chive dumplings are really, really good. Very garlicky interior. It's got that kind of translucent skin on the outside. I love these. We are huge fans of chive dumplings, and this one's really good. The best thing is the skin is so thin. Got a favorite here, pork bun. It's pillowy show pal pork bun, yes. I love everything shows up hot because they're steaming it to water. Definitely. Let's do we have our drinks here. So you also, in addition to the tea that they give you to every table, we didn't get just any coffee. We actually got coffee mixed with tea, aka cham. It's funny because that's what's called in Malaysia. So it's called the same thing here. And it's delicious, nice and creamy, milky. I know it's also called yin yang and Hong Kong, but the mix of tea and coffee is always very nice. We like it, nice and smooth. You can really taste the coffee and silk the tea too. This one right here looks very interesting. We don't know what it is, but it looks like there's some meat in here. Could be pork. Looks like some, maybe some mushrooms. Thin dumplings. It's so thin that the meat just exploded out yeah. of its shell. <laughs> yeah, it's like this brown sauce. It looks really nice. Big bite, mushroom, pork, green, dumpling skin. Mm. Yeah, you really get that very porky flavor, a little mushroom, also sweet. Wow. And that kind of chewy dumpling skin. I like it. Now time for the roast pork, the other Trang specialty that we showed you from the morning market. Let's see how they do it here. The skin's very crispy. This one's a little drier, not as crisp. I think maybe because it's been wrapped up in the saran wrap, the bacha wrap, but pretty good flavor. It does not touch what we had yesterday at the market. That's some of the best roast pork I've ever eaten in my life. I'll attest to that. It has a mix of suyok and roast pork, the sweet and salty, mm -hmm. and then the skin is just so crispy. Yeah. This one is a little crisp, crisp in there, but yesterday was so crispy. Next, mustard bun. One of my absolute favorite dim sum dishes around is the egg custard bun. Oh, it smells so nice and eggy and sweet. Mm. So silky smooth filling. I love that egg custard. It's nice too because you can get everything in this meal is a balance of sweet and savory. Even some of the savory dishes are a little sweet. But you get this beautiful, luscious, it's like a luxurious texture in this salt and custard bun. Why dim sum became a thing here in Trang is the Chinese immigrants came to Thailand. So that's, that's why it's like dim sum's Chinese background. And Trang is really, it's diverse, it's a mix. You have Muslim, you have Chinese, Thai. It's a really interesting city because right on the Andaman coast, there's a lot, of, a lot of cities on the Andamakos, a lot of trading that happened over the years. 